You know, sometimes those little details can get you into trouble. You either overlook them or you forget about them. You know, one guy, a guy posted on Instagram that he had three super treasure hunts for trade. Uh, super this, super that, super that, blah, blah, blah. And then he said he's looking for a gasser in exchange, right? So he sent him a note saying, you might want to reread that because uh, some unscrupulous person might want to take advantage of you. See, the deal is, is he didn't say he was looking for a super gasser. He said he had a super this, super that, but he was looking for a gasser. He didn't say a super gasser. Now, okay, of course we knew what he was talking about, but it's one of those things that you overlook, right? You know, even sometimes on eBay, sometimes people sell stuff. I have no problems with eBay, right? You can buy, sell. It's no big deal, right? You got extras, sell them. And if you need something, buy. It's it's so convenient. Uh, sometimes, you know, sellers, they, they'll have the wrong picture with the item. So let's say I'm looking for something, and um, I happen to notice that they have the wrong picture with the description. So I, I take a moment, send them a note, saying, hey, you know, you got the wrong picture with the title, just to let you know. Why? Because... I'm trying to save them trouble down the road, right? Uh, and then there are sometimes uh, eBayers who intentionally do sneaky things like uh, they'll have a lot of items in the picture, let's say 20 whatever, right? And then the description says lot of whatever it is, right? But then in the description, they turn around and say, even though the uh, grave digger is shown in the picture, it's not available. Oh, wait a second. If you use a picture and you say that there's a lot and it's in the picture, it should be part of the auction, right? That's Otherwise, um, in my opinion, it's bait and switch. You're trying to bait people with an image and then get them to buy it. And it just creates trouble later on, right? Just be honest in the first place. And some some sellers do it on purpose. But uh, for the most part, look, most people on Instagram and eBay and all this stuff, most people are fantastic people. Oh, hey, by the way, <laughs> my picture right there, Brom. Brom made that picture for me in one of the race groups community community. We had a thing to where you can suggest, uh, we rotate the banner every month in the Race Goose community on Facebook. So I give people the opportunity to submit a picture and, and we, I use user pictures for the banner. And thanks to Patrick, Patrick helps me crop it for the right size and stuff. But anyways, um, so, you know, I'm on uh, one of Mattel's websites and they have this right here. They have the, uh, the wall track start, not wall tracks, track builder starter set. I already have it. But they had a bundle, and I don't know. I noticed the bundle. The picture shows the starter set, which I think is about twenty-five dollars, and then it says free gift pack with purchase. And in the picture, they have the fifty pack with a whole bunch of cars spread around. And so, as a consumer, you look at that and say, "Hey, free gift pack! What are you going to think? You're going to think you're getting that item, right?" But then you look down in the description, and it says free nine pack. So. I clicked on the send a comment thing and I said, I'll let Mattel know, you know, consumers going to get confused, get confused. You show fit, you show it. And it says 50 right on the 50 pack in the box. Consumers are going to think they're going to get a 50 pack and down in the thing you say nine pack, you know, so I'll take the time. Just what's it take? 30 seconds, send a note, send an email, done, boom. Well, the next day someone writes back from Mattel and says, Hey, thanks for letting me know. Uh, I'm not the person that takes care of that, but I'm going to forward to the person who does. So I write back and say, okay, thank you. I just want to let you know. Move on. A couple days later, I get an email, an advertising email from Mattel. You know, they have their whatever. You get the daily advertising. Lots of companies have them. Well, guess what, guess what picture they were using in that daily ad, right? Same one. A 50-pack with this for $25. Oh, I forgot. I left that out. $25, get a free. Maybe I didn't. $25 starter set and you get a free gift right well if they include a nine a ten pack a nine pack and nine dollars right so they could they could afford to give away that with this it's free right it's not that big a deal but the, how can you give away a 50 pack when that's twice as expensive as this so clearly there's a mistake right oh, well i think there's a mistake surely i didn't think they meant to sell a 50 pack with a 25 dollars so a 75 dollars for $25 and free shipping, I think, if I recall correctly. But um, I think they made a mistake. So anyways, so I screenshot my email and I sent it to that person who responded to me before. Not the person she contacted, because I don't know who that is. I said, hey, <laughs> Mattel is still promoting this thing. Now they're doing it by email. You're gonna have a whole lot of unhappy people if, uh, if this is what they receive. 
uh, if they receive a nine pack and they've seen a whole bunch, they've seen a whole lot more cars than nine cars in that picture. So um, I don't remember if she responded, but he, anyways, and these are my rough estimations, right? Because look, I'm busy, I got things to do. I'm not sitting there writing these down. Oh, this is what Mattel did. Oh, well, no, I'm busy. This is just kind of, but yeah, I could track my emails and find out, but so, you know, two or three days later, right? I check Mattel's website and it's still for sale. As a matter of fact, they didn't even pull it off the website yet. I said, Hey, I done my job. It, we're talking almost a week or a week, right? As a matter of fact, it was a week. And so, so I buy two of them. I'm going to get two of these and yeah, I already have one, but right. I do track time. I, I can, might be able to use the parts and then use the parts for track time. So if I get an extra, I can use it. Right. As far as a uh, extra nine packs, you know, I got enough cars, but any, but anyways, uh, it would be interesting to see what cars show up anyways. Uh, what what nine pack? Is it a new pack, an old pack? I don't know. Besides, some of the exclusive cars in those nine packs are pretty cool. So I go ahead and buy two of them. So uh, I want to see what happens, right? 25 bucks. I, I can't lose. I can use the parts. No big deal. So 50 bucks. I think free shipping. I get two starter sets and whatever gift sets. And uh, so the next day, I get... I get an email from now another person from Mattel and they say, hey, by the way, uh, I got this message and um, they're saying that uh, I can't find the item you're talking about. So I write back and say, you know, that was eight days ago, eight days ago that I contacted you and Mattel. And now finally, eight days later, I said, never mind. I bought two of them yesterday and they're already shipped on my way. Uh, I just assume make a video and talk about my experience. So this is that video. But uh, anyways, so she responds and says, well, I'd like to give you $10 certificate for your troubles. And to be honest with you, I don't want $10. $10 make, what, you're trying to give me $10 to hush me up because I said I was gonna make a video? And yeah, in my signature, and this is from my race crews email, okay? So I'm not hiding who I am, uh, my communication, if they don't take the time to look who I am, or if they don't know, that's on them. But I'm not hiding who I am. So anyways, I didn't even respond after that. How much more time am I supposed to invest in helping them with their website, right? Doesn't make any sense. So anyways, then the box shows up. And you know those companies, they always use a big box and they just throw the stuff in. It's happens before. And remember, this is the starter set that I'm looking for, right? So it shows up and sure enough, so it, it was the right starter set. Nothing different. I don't see anything different. Looks like looks like the same one, right? So it gave me a couple of starter sets, but then of course, you know, I was curious what the which which nine pack exclusive am I gonna get or what you know what's gonna show up in it. And so what shows up? Yeah, got the 50 packs. Now now I don't know if they turn around and said you better ship that guy 250 packs with those uh, two things that he bought because he's going to make a video or what i don't know because i i let them know ahead of time that as a consumer i'm expecting a 50 pack because that's what it shows in the picture don't sit there and hide in small print nine you know a nine pack on the bottom but anyways i'll i'll be reviewing these uh in a separate video because these are kind of interesting to talk about sorry i'm not going to promote mattel's website i'm not going to give the link um, you know, I'm just talking about my experience uh, for this. Now, I've done other vlog videos, collector videos, and so I'm going to give a link. This is my link here for uh, my vlog type videos because I get uh, thousands of new subscribers every month. And I can't keep answering people's questions. Hey, what's the treasure in? I, I can't. I got things to do because I'm moving forward. But yet new collectors are coming into the hobby, right? So I have collector type videos in this playlist. Uh, and I mentioned track time. So this playlist right here is my track time playlist where, uh, you know, I use parts, I use parts, track parts to make uh, tests and reviews of different kinds of cars. Uh, and in the future, you know, I might be doing some uh, Ask Race Grooves videos. So uh, if you use the hashtag Ask Race Grooves, uh, I'll search for that. Who knows? I might make a video out of some of your questions. I know some YouTubers do that. You, know, you see my other room. I don't necessarily need content i have lots of content i have lots of things to do but sometimes it's nice to sit down just answer uh, some questions from collectors or from viewers it could be a question about youtube it could be a question about what camera equipment it could be a question about what do i do it could be 
uh, what do I think about this or that? It could be about the toys. It could be about me personally. Okay, so it could be about a lot of things and not just uh, collectors. Uh, it's ask great screws, ask me anything. And who knows, I might turn up in a video. We will see. Now, some people only use Instagram. So if you uh, want to send me, if you decide to send me a PM on uh, Instagram, you, you have to include a picture that has the hashtag ask race groups because then when I search through the PMs, that's how I'll find it. Otherwise, if you send a PM, right, they're gone, right? They don't, they don't last long. And I get so many PMs, it'll be gone. You have to use an image that says hashtag uh, ask race groups because then when I scroll through, I'll look for a picture that says ask race groups and it might be in there. Now, clearly, I, I did a live stream, three and a half hour live stream uh, a week ago, okay? Three and a half hours. Over 5,000 comments. and Now, of course, not all of them are questions. And clearly, I'm not going to be able to answer every question. But it's just kind of an opportunity for you. Hey, if you got a question, maybe you've been, maybe you've been wanting to ask, uh, now's your chance. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.